Yeah, just a little short video. I haven't posted anything in about three weeks now. Down here in northeast Texas, it is just unbearably hot. And I finally got a break in the weather, so I was able to come up to the farm and do a little bit. Uh, last three weeks, I've been so busy at work, I couldn't get off to come up here. Anyway, uh, pads roughed in, uh, pretty close to grade. I'll finish out with the box blade. And it's going to be a pier and beam foundation, so it doesn't have to be perfect. So we got that done today. And hold on, we're going for a ride. Obviously, I ain't going to walk. It's only about uh, 92. But high humidity. We should get some thunderstorms sooner or later today. Uh, I guess this is the last full weekend of August. Whatever day that is, I can't remember. This is a power line right away we're riding down. Over here is where my borrow pit was. <clears throat> and got it uh, graded and filled back in so it won't be a mud hole. <clears throat> Not terrible. Mm. Better than having a hole there. Uh, grass going to come in real fast on this place. It always does. Be able to go back and just keep on mowing it. Uh, all said and done, I pulled about uh, 35 yards out of that borrow pit and uh, that's what I put over there on that pad to get it rough grade and we'll go up the hill a little bit behind all my mowing. I'll probably mow it again next month. And uh, that'll be it for the year. It needs more mowing. Way, way down there on that back tree line, you turn back to the left, that's to the north, across the creek. And I had to uh, use the uh, John Deere 450G to fill in some pretty bad washes that feed into that creek. And one creek bank is about 12 foot from the top to the bottom of the creek. And I'm working that dozer right there on the edge. And it had been about eight, nine years ago, that same area. I was doing a blind push. The undergrowth, undergrowth was so thick, I couldn't see what I was pushing. And drove a D6 off that 12 foot embankment into that creek. Uh, it was up about 80 degrees. And I had a winch on it, but it was such a steep angle, I lost all the uh, hydraulic going to the winch. And I had to get a buddy out here with another D6 and a winch uh, to pull me out of that creek the next day. I was about another day, uh, that dozer uh, falling over on its side into that creek. So they moved about another four foot overnight. So that was a little scary. Uh, after that, I put the seat belt back on the seat. Anyway, that's about it. It's going to cool off here another four months, or excuse me, four weeks or so. Uh, get back up here, clean this mess up on these brush piles. Got a plan. Maybe get started on that dam. Maybe. That's about all. I'll try to start posting more. Mm, appreciate it, everybody. Thank you.